Thank you for joining Becky Stampin' Daily. Today we're going to make this Christmas card with the beautiful tree dies and the Beauty of Earth DSP. What you're going to need, you're going to need a piece of Misty Moonlight that is four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to fold that in half. You're going to need a piece of thick, basic white that is four and an eighth by three and three quarters that has been embossed with the scallop contoured eye. You're going to need a piece of Beauty of the Earth DSP that's the same size, four and an eighth by three and a quarter. You're going to need a scrap piece to cut the tree out. And you're going to need another scrap piece for the greeting. We're using the greeting from For Unto You, the Merry Christmas. We're using the Tasteful Textiles 3D folder to, after you cut your tree out, put it in here and emboss it to give it some texture. This is the tree that you're going to be using in the Beautiful Trees dies. We're using layering circle framelit dies, the small one for the greeting. And we're using the scallop contour dies for this contour. And what I did, I've already cut mine out, but when you get ready to do it, number one, make sure this is going the wrong, right way. And you're gonna put this at the bottom as close as you can to the edge. Tape it down with some washi tape and make sure that it's even on both sides. You want the, these three scallops in the center and you want these ends to be exactly the same. So when you cut it out, they match. You don't want more paper on one side than the other, and you want them to match exactly so they'll fit inside each other. So that's how you're gonna do that. You're not cutting hardly any paper off at all on both of these. So we got this done. Let's attach this to the DSP to this. your scallops even. Match it up at the bottom first and if it's off a little you can trim it on the top or the sides but you want your scallops to be the same distance from each other. And that looks good. Okay this is going on here but before we do that I'm also using the Baker's Twine Essential Pack, the white twine we need to run this around here. Get this on here where we want it. Let me see if that's where I want it. I think that's good. Move this one down just a little bit. Looks good. Let's trim it and attach it to the cardstock. Okay, and then you're going to put 
put this on like this. Perfect. So next we're going to do our tree. I cut this out with the beautiful tree trees dies and embossed it with a folder, but now we're going to put some Wink of Stella on it to give us some sparkle. I didn't do the trunk. I just did above a trunk because I don't think a trunk should sparkle. But these has snow on it, so this needs to sparkle. enough okay and then we're going to put this on the card I put it on with dimensionals. I put full, I'll show you how I did it. I didn't put a lot of dimensionals up here because I didn't want it to be stuck down. I want it to look like it's alive. I put one here, put one here, and then I cut some and just sporadically did the, um, the limbs. I didn't really do that many of them, truthfully. This is so hard to keep a hold of. up here Be sure and check your mini catalog. I think it's on page five or six. I can't remember um, that f Christmas card kit. I think it's called Whimsy Christmas. It has the little elf on the ladder decorating her tree and a little elf with a sleigh or sled, not sleigh. That is available to order now, and it's only while supplies last. I don't know how many that they ordered, and it's um, $19. It makes eight cards, everything you need for eight cards. It's really cute, but that went on order, actually, I think yesterday. Uh, let's see. Let's put another one right here. And I'll do one there, and then that's it. Man, these are... Just try to do something like this, and your fingers quit working. Okay. Sticky, 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 sticky. Okay, so now you're going to put this down. Put it that looks good there. 
See, I kind of, I don't want all these stuck all the way down. I like them. I got a little bit of a dimensional showing here, so we'll just push it away. I might have messed up uh, putting that further over. Hopefully that will slide the envelope. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is stamp our greet, stamp our greeting. We're using the silver embossing paste for the greeting. So you're going to take your Versamark pad. I still use my embossing buddy. And you're going to ink this up with the Versamark. Then you're going to stamp it. Let me make sure it's all stamped. Looks like it is. Find out when I put the powder on it. So you're going to take your silver powder. And you're going to lay this on here. It's hard to tell where you even put the powder, so I'll just cover it all up good. Oh man, I got that thing on the top, but I can get that with a brush. Powder out of the way before I turn the gun on and it blows everywhere. You know, I just I rocked it. There we go. So you're gonna heat this up. And when you get done, it's gonna look like this. Keep your uh, gun moving, don't hold it in one spot or it'll burn it. There it goes. This is like magic. Looks good. I've already done one and I cut it out with the circle framelit dies. Okay. So that's going to go here with dimensionals. Oh. Uh, All we have left is our rhinestones and our bow. Choose the circle because it coordinated with the scallops. So we're also using the basic rhinestone, basic rhinestones. I guess I'll use up this size. Where'd that go? A little stinker. Come here. Okay, I got to fight with it right now. I'm gonna put one up here. Right here. Right here. Let's see if that'll come off my finger. One right there. One more over here. Okay. All we have left is our bow. I went ahead and pre-made the bow like I've done all, all my other videos. I, I wrapped it around two fingers three times because I have three loops. And then tie another piece of string around the center. And we're going to put this on with a glue dot. And we're done. I made a fall card yesterday with 
this stamp set and I think it's my favorite fall card I made so far. I'm going to try to do a video on it tomorrow. I keep forgetting it's only early September. I still need to be making fall cards. But I got started on Christmas and kind of got wrapped up in that. Let's cut this off a little. And there you have it. I love it. I would have never thought of making a Christmas card with this paper. I will have um, this card on my blog, if not tonight, tomorrow morning. And I will have a list of all the supplies and the dimensions. Here's a list of the dimensions. And here is the address if you need my blog, stampandaily.blogspot.com. And I have a YouTube channel called Becky Stampin' Daily, and I'm doing videos on every card that I make. So check back. If you subscribe to it, you'll get a notice every time I post a card on there. Thank you for joining me, and hope to see you soon.